Michael Mag has found a home on the basketball court. But at just 22 months old, his parents weren't sure they'd ever get to see him dribble a ball or make a basket. As a baby, Michael was abused by his babysitter and his life would change forever. He suffered traumatic brain injury. So that resulted in his brain stroking out, um, mental and physical disabilities ever since then. It, takes for, it makes for long days, you know, it's difficult to watch your child suffer and go through the things that he's had to go through. The effects still linger today. Michael is only able to use his left arm while playing basketball, but nothing can keep him off the court. That's where this story takes a happy turn. It was a normal, cold, snow-filled night in defiance when Michael dressed for his first ever varsity basketball game for Ayersville. But he didn't just dress for the game, Michael became the talk of the town. From where I said I could see Coach Zagers talking to him and I could kind of tell that it was going to happen. And when he got out there, it was just really neat and how the kids responded to him being out there and how the crowd stood up and everybody was excited and it was just a really special night. They showed me how to do it first and I know we were going to win. In the short time he was in the game, Michael made a huge impact on this community. Michael After the game, Coach presented him with the game ball. Coach James gave me this ball at the end of the game. Have you put that ball down since? Or have you been taking it everywhere? Everywhere I go. <laughs> I slept with it. If he didn't have the condition that he has, Michael would have been a senior and he would have been playing with us every single night on this basketball court. So to be able to give him at least one night to experience what we experienced every night, it was really special that we were able to do that. I would argue that, uh, you know, in my mind, Michael did more for us as a basketball program and a community than we could ever do for him. As if this story couldn't get any more incredible, this is the final season that Ayersville will be playing in their historic gym. That means that Michael made the final basket ever in the gym they call the hangar. Feel awesome. How come? Because made the last bus kit of this gym.